so all right uh, let us take a look at istio architecture a little bit more now the architecture that i'm going to discuss is as of istio version 1.5 which has been released recently if you watch you can completely ignore this lecture and proceed with the next one because you'll never work with the istio architecture or the or any of the components of istio architecture the reason i want to tell this is to have some idea about how istio works now as i say it will not even bother about what is happening under under the hood until and unless something goes really wrong this is how the architecture is and i have I have taken this uh, diagram from istio's official website and this is the entire istio mesh at the outer layer if you see and there are two things data plane and control plane so we'll discuss uh, control plane and, and data plane a little bit uh, more but don't get confused by these terms because they are pretty straightforward there's nothing actually that you have to do with data plane and control plane the first thing let's discuss about control plane so if you see in control plane we have something called istio d that you have already seen that whenever we install istio we get a pod running with the name istio d and istio d has three components pilot citadel and galley what these things do we will discuss in the next slide so istio d along with other components uh, are called the control plane so that's all there's nothing more to it and as i said we'll never do anything with istio's uh, control plane now there are few things uh, so whenever the service mesh is implemented the control plane talks to the sidecar proxy which you have already seen so you know what a sidecar proxy is every traffic goes through the sidecar pro proxy and to the services or or containers in a pod so this gray box is one pod and there are two containers in this pod one is the service and the other one is a proxy of course the pos container is not being shown here same is the case here this is also a pod and this container provides service b or wave service b it also has a proxy and we already know that if this service wants to talk to this service they have to go via the proxy which is called the mesh traffic and these proxies are combined together are called data plane that's it so there's nothing more to it so control plane is istio d along with some other components and data plane is the sidecar proxy that is implemented along with other containers in a pod so we have something called ingress traffic and egress traffic so ingre ingress traffic is something which is inbound request and egress traffic is some as also known as outbound request now what happens is that this control plane pushes discovery configuration and other things to the sidecar proxy so whatever configuration we do whatever work we do with istio let's say we, we create something called a virtual service which we'll see later on when you create the virtual service that particular object or resource is pushed to the sidecar proxy using the control plane which is istio d the major thing that istio does is traffic management security and observability will majorly focus on traffic management in fact most of the times of this istio section will focus on traffic management so data plane it's nothing but the sidecar proxies in all the pods and additionally we have control plane which is nothing but the istio d pod and there are three components pilot citadel and galley so all these three things are implemented inside of that istio d pod so there's no separate component as such meaning that istio d does not have multiple containers for pilot citadel or galley all of them have been combined together and put inside the istio d pod or the istio d container so let's take a look a little bit if we do a describe part of istio d what do we see if you do kubectl get pods in istio system you know that this is the pod we are talking about this is the istio d pod and this pod implements pilot galley and citadel and if you describe this pod it's similar to any other kubernetes pod there are a few labels like app which has uh, the name of the app is istio d then istio equal to pilot this is actually the pilot pod and there's this annotation wherein it mentions the sidecar.istio.io slash inject is false 
So status is running. These are the IPs, and it is controlled by a replica set. Of course, it is being run as a deployment. And this is the container ID. So there's only one container, and this is the image docker.io slash istio slash pilot 1.5.1. And here's the image ID. There are a few other information like ports, host ports, arguments, etc. And if you scroll down, there are some environment environment variables also along with some mount points. And that is the only container that this pod has. And here are the events at the end. And that's all is to day. So don't get confused with this diagram and don't consider that these three are separate containers running inside of STOD. It is not. STOD by itself is a single container, which actually the name of the image is pilot. All the three components are inside of the single pod or single application. But in version 1.4.3, the architecture was a little different. It was a little more complicated. So if you have version 1.4.3, in your organization or let's say you have installed version 1.4.3 in your system you'll see a lot more other pods now pilot galley and citadel are also there in version 1.4.3 and they actually run as separate pods now all the configuration are sent to sidecar proxies by pilot what citadel used to do was see tls certificate management and authentication and then galley also does some configuration now the functionalities that these three components do are still the same in STOD. But the only difference is that all these three have been merged together in a single program and have been implemented in STOD pod. So this is version 1.4.3. The remaining things are same. The control plane was drastically different in version 1.4.3, which has been changed in 1.5. What are the different components that Istio has. The first one is Pilot, which provides service discovery and it also pushes configuration changes to all the Envoy sidecar proxy. As I say, let's say you have a virtual service, which is a Kubernetes object. When we create the virtual service, what happens is that this Pilot program or this Pilot component takes all the configuration that is there in a virtual service or any other configuration for that matter and pushes it to all the Envoy sidecar proxies of all the pods which are managed by Istio Mesh. Not only that, it also provides service discovery. So let's say we have this Istio D running, which has uh, this pilot com component. Again, this is not a container. Istio D by itself is a pod which runs a single container. One of the application component is pilot that is running along with Galley and Citadel in the same program. So now let's say we have this pod, AC means application container and we have this Envoy sidecar proxy which is being managed by this Istio service mesh. Now what, is, what does this service discovery do? Let's say a new pod has been created which has a new application component or let's say existing running pod which got terminated for some reason and restarted again. So how this service, what does service discovery mean? Means that the moment this pod comes up, it all it will also have application container and invoice sidecar proxy because it is being managed by the Istio service mesh as well. Now what, the moment it comes up, it's it'll send the its own information to this pilot component, and that information will be sent by the invoice sidecar proxy. Now what will happen is that this information about this pod will be sent to all the pods which are there and will be sent to the invoice sidecar proxy so that this pod or this application container knows that a new pod has been spinned up and you can send information or you can communicate to this pod via this IP address, etc. etc. So all those information would be put in Envoy Sidecar Proxy. So it is done automatically. This is called service discovery because this is a new service that has come up and we need to know that this new service is there. Otherwise, we will not be able to communicate to the service. So the moment the service comes up, all the other pods should know that there's a new service that has come up. Here in service, I mean web service. So you can deploy it using service deployment pods. That's what pilot does. So the moment it comes up, Envoy Sidecar Proxy sends the information to pilot and pilot propagates that information to all the other pods in the Istio service mesh. The next one is Citadel, which provides service-to-service end-user authentication out of the box. So 
let's say I have this service which is an application container and this service which contains another application container using this citadel we can implement service to service and end user authentication not only that it provides encryption of traffic between proxies using mutual TLS or MTLS so as you know that the communication would happen via the proxy from here to here so application will connect to the inverse IP proxy which will forward or send the requ request further to another inverse IP proxy so all these requests can be encrypted all this traffic can be encrypted using citadel and it uses mutual TLS the final one is galley which is Istio's conf configuration validation ingestion processing and distribution component so what happens here is that it reads a yaml configuration file and it converts it to Istio format so whenever you use any yaml file and run kubectl create followed by the file name it goes to Istio D and then galley gets it and it converts it from kubernetes format to Istio format and then it is implemented in the Istio service mesh. So that's what Galley does. Now, as I said, you do not need to know anything about these components at all. So they'll work the way they are supposed to work until something really breaks down. Then only you'll have to take a look at these components in detail. Now, one thing is that if one of the components go down, entire Istio would be down. So these are the three things that Istio control plane consists of. And the data plane, a plane is nothing but the inverse sidecar proxies. Now, one more thing is that Istio never disturbs the, the Kubernetes infrastructure or the Kubernetes component or the Kubernetes cluster. We have this Kubernetes and we, of course, we have application which has been deployed on top of Kubernetes. Istio provides additional feature. It in no way replaces Kubernetes in any of the cases except for a few which we'll see. The only thing is that it provides some additional feature on top of Kubernetes. That does not mean that we'll have to use Istio all the time. The features which has a collision with Kubernetes, we can use Kubernetes components or resources instead of Istio. But Istio of course provides additional features. That's why it is so famous and it is used alongside with Kubernetes cluster. So that's all about Istio architecture. As I said, you can skip this you do not need to know about Istio architecture in any way for that matter.